beautiful people welcome back to my channel again and welcome to this tutorial well i'll tell you a story okay about this look two days ago i applied my blue eyeliner and decided to try a red lipstick with a little gloss on top of it well i was amazed by the result that's why i want to create something more special but similar to this first look that i have created well i apply this golden metallic golden eyeshadow and a little bit more glowy on my face it's kind of look uh, wet and yeah it's beautiful at least for me it's beautiful well i hope you enjoy watching this tutorial i'm happy to share it for you i love you guys and let's get to the video okay <clears throat> for good start i'll just drink some tea I'm really a tea person and I'm ready to go I'm starting with some color correcting just a little bit well what I'm thinking about today's makeup is something that I tried two days ago but I want to add some eyeshadows on this look well, I immediately felt in love in it, that's why I would like to share it with you. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, it's better now. Actually, I don't know why I started with this color cream. However, first I'm going to do the eyes, but however. Okay, for primer today I am going to use my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. Okay. It is actually a very good concealer. I'm I'm using it very much and I definitely have to buy another one. Because this is going to finish. It's almost finished. Okay, okay. I think it's good that way. Okay, today I'm going to fix my eyes with some powder. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Matte Powder. You can see I, I'm using it a lot. Well, just with very light hand just fix the eyes and then we're going to start with the eyeshadows yeah i really like playing with eyeshadows with different colors with shimmery glittery ah, everything i just love makeup unfortunately i can do makeup on you on myself and many of my friends are asking sometimes can you do my makeup for my party for my prom for my uh, dinner night out uh, or for my wedding and i'm just okay i'll try but i can't promise you anything because usually i'm doing my own makeup and i don't do makeup on other people well they are like oh okay we're going to risk <laughs> and yeah but i definitely want to, to start doing makeup on other people at least to my closest friends and family and uh, yeah at least some of them for today i am going to use a very special palette for me and this is Start winter glam palette mm. I really love this palette and the packaging is really amazing you can see this is the back is golden 
and here we have uh, this uh, I don't know how they cold but yeah they are beautiful and very very shiny I, I love them well you can see it's like a box jewelry box maybe or something similar and yeah I love this palette and you can see there are really beautiful shades here we have golden here we have something some maybe pinky pinky something between pink and gold yeah beautiful palette I love it I love it I actually use it a lot okay I forgot to tell you what is in this uh, palette okay we have a special brush with two edges we have a mascara and a nice beautiful black pencil I will take this brush just to show you I'm sorry I'm going to start with this shade right here it's called gangster wrapper well just uh, using this uh, edge of the brush and taking amount of this uh, shade and start applying come on baby yes okay it's very neutral shade it's perfect for transition Okay, I think we are ready here for now. Yeah, it's very, very neutral, very simple shade, but it's beautiful for transition. At least for me, it's that way. Next shade I was thinking of is this golden matte shade, uh, which is called my secret for reindeer snack reindeer snack i usually do my eyebrows after i am done with my makeup with my eye makeup let's apply this eyeshadow right here and a little on the outer corner of the eye and a little bit up to the crease to create this gold effect okay yeah something like that let's do the other eye okay just a little bit on the outer corner and then up to the crease And I love the brush. It's also golden. Golden brush. Nice. Nice, really nice brush. I I like it. Okay, something like this. Okay. And next step is to take this beautiful golden metallic eyeshadow which is called um, dazzling well i'm using the other edge of the brush while taking this product and start applying it from the inner corner of the eye maybe i should try with my fingers try with my fingers well the result is definitely better yeah I want it to be on the whole lid whoa it's going to be beautiful beautiful okay well that is something good 
Okay, let's apply the same eyeshadow on the other eye. I love this golden eyeshadow, metallic eyeshadow. It's beautiful. Well, for my inner corner, I will apply some of the product with a brush. Mm -hmm. Really nice, nice, nice. Hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to apply anything else on my eyelid. I love this metallic eyeshadow, how it looks on my lid. But I will take some of the second eyeshadow that I've been using on my lid and I'll just, just uh, blend a little bit here. Keep it simple and be beautiful. Now my plan plan is to apply an eyeliner and I will be using this NYX Cosmetics Vivid Brights eyeliner. Okay, I just add some extra golden eyeshadow on my eye. Well, that is it. Let's clean this spot here. I am cleaning my under eye area. It's not so perfect. Actually, this eyeliner dries really fast, at least for me. And it's really, sometimes it's really difficult to, to manage to do a perfect line or wing but however i think that's because my my skin is really dry and when i applying eyeliner it sometimes dries so fast that i can't i can't manage to to do it great but i promise you i will do my best I will do my best because I love doing this and I will do my best for you because I love you all, oh, you're amazing. Okay, now uh, apply some color corrector. Okay, today I'm using uh, Smashbox Studio Skin Hydrating Foundation. Uh, the color is uh, 1.2 uh, I think I have a light uh, skin tone light skin tone but fair light definitely not okay just uh, a few pumps on back on my hand and I'm using my beauty blender just take it and you can see what is happening okay start applying I'm sorry for my language. I'm trying to improve my skills, but it takes time. I want to do it better, to speak better, so just be patient with me. I'm working on this. This isn't the full coverage foundation, but it's very light and if your skin is uh, very sensitive or um, 
you have a problem skin i mean yes you know i think this foundation will be good for you i don't really have some problems with my skin i just do some stuff for it and my skin pays me back oh my hair is everywhere okay now let's apply some concealer i'm usually using this tart shape tape concealer so yeah that's my favorite for now and i'm using it every day there is a day that i'm i'm not wearing a foundation I don't use foundation every day and during these days I use only concealer this shape tape concealer okay on top of my fingers on my forehead yes okay just taking my beauty blender and just Okay, you have to be very precise when you're applying concealer right under the line of the eyeliner for uh, of face contouring. I will try to use a stick. Well, I'm not very good at that because I am usually using a powder but today I would like to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills stick in in shade espresso well let's see what how I'm going to do it Okay, let's see how I'm going to blend this. It's not that bad, I think. We can apply a little bronzer, and the look will be good. Well, okay, now let's finish the makeup, the eye makeup with the underline area. For the underline area, I am going to use this Morphe brush and just take a little bit of the first shade which I applied on my on, on my crease and just apply it to the right here it looks very very natural I love this shade okay and with this with a small brush, I'm going to smudge this eyeshadow just like that. Okay, and then I will do the same with the other eye.
think it's beautiful. Well, I can add some of this gold, golden shade just in the middle of the eye. Okay, I will use this brush, Morphe M3212, to buy some of this golden shade just in the middle of the eye. Just uh... okay. Now it's time for my brows. I will do them off camera and I will be back. Okay, guys, I'm back and I have done my eyebrows. I applied, I have applied my lashes and I also baked my face. But now we're going to apply some bronzer on my face. Next step will be applying a little blush, then okay, let's apply some bronzer with, with this goldy wow, 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 beautiful, beautiful, really beautiful. Okay. close to the summer and that will be a great summer night out look or something at least on my opinion okay for blush I'm you know I'm using this BH Cosmetics blush palette and today I'm going with uh, this shade right here Ooh. yeah baby contour the nose to, to fix with some powder I will apply a little bit right here Ooh. very nice I would love to have to have this slim nose I like my nose but this one here whoa perfect okay and set everything with my beauty blender there I know what kind of highlighter I am going to use. Something that I like really a lot. Well, this is um, Prisma Glow by Dominique Cosmetics. I really like this palette. Well, what I am going to use today is this Skin Glow's. It's a creamy highlighter. You can see beautiful golden just with I'm just tapping on my face to create this beautiful beautiful glow See how beautiful it looks on the skin. And for the nose, I'm going to use this right here, Rosie. Pink Haze. Pink Haze. I have to be very precise. Now, Ah, uh, let's move and apply the lipstick. 
Okay, today I'm going to use these lipsticks. The first one is by Dominique Cosmetics. And the second one is by Morphe. And this is more like a lip gloss. Okay, this Dominique Cosmetics lipstick is called Love Drop. And this Morphe lip gloss is called Sunny's. Well, I will start with uh, this lipstick. It's matte lipstick. I don't really like matte lipsticks so much because mm, my lips are very dry and it doesn't go that good that I would like to be. Okay, I'll wait um, 10 seconds this lipstick to dry and then I will apply this lip gloss and you will see how the things are going on. just tap the brush on the lid I don't do this motion well guys this is my finished look I hope you enjoy watching this video and I hope you you like this tutorial and you will try something I really like the lipstick color and how it looks on my face I don't use very often red lipstick but this one kind of like me so 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 much and i wanted to share it with you so i will definitely start using red lipstick more often i like the color i like the way this golden eyeshadow combining with this uh, blue eyeliner i think the whole look is very glowy and yeah if you like this tutorial give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell we will be notified every time i upload a new video and i definitely need your support so thank you so much be blessed love you guys you're amazing never forget that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.